All right, girls, I want to show you something, a uh, little surprise for you all. So your dresses came in actually a couple weeks ago, but I get to show them to you. I'm so excited. So here, aren't these beautiful? Oh my gosh, these are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. There's flowers and the skirt's a little flat. Let me fluff it out a bit here. Got some beautiful flowers on here. And you see this uh, red material, it's absolutely gorgeous. A little applique. And then this is a scrunchie. Looks like a scrunchie. It's going to go around your bun in the back. And here's a little tie in the back that you saw. Um, yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. Like, did not disappoint at all. I am so excited to see you girls in this. It's going to be a beautiful dance. So yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't wait till you get to actually try them on. And done. Rolling. Hello, Valley 2. I miss you all so much. I hope you're doing well. Um, I hope you've actually been taking ballet class. It's how very helpful. I miss teaching you girls, and I can't wait to be back with you. Um, for today, what we are working on is your uh, ballet dance, um, which a few weeks ago we didn't um, even have a song, so you'll get to hear your song today. I think some of you have heard it already. It's called um, Raise a Hallelujah by Bethel Music. It is an amazing, powerful song, and the dance just is also very powerful and beautiful. It's just going to add to um, the song itself. So I can't wait to get started. Um, first thing we're going to do is pray. So wherever you are, put your hands together and bow your heads, and I'm going to say a little prayer, okay? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this day, Lord. Thank you for another opportunity to dance together, even through video, Lord. I pray for um, this dance that the girls would just have fun learning it, that they would be encouraged, that they would um, just feel your presence with them as they are uh, listening to this song and learning this movement, Lord God. And I just pray that um, it would just all be able to come into them and they would remember it, Lord. Remember the moves, Lord. And I just thank you. Um, and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so uh, first thing, um, part of this dance, just a disclaimer, part of this dance is big. We have a big class, so you have to kind of imagine it like you are in a big space, even though you might be in this itty bitty living space. Um, so uh, that's kind of what's going to happen on stage. We have some circle movements that are going to be very big. Um, but first thing, that we're going to do is start in two lines. So wherever you are, um, we're going to start with our feet together. And we're going to have just our hands at our side. And this, is, this, is, this movement is all together. So the first part repeats four times. It says, I raise a hallelujah. The words change throughout, but we're going to keep doing the same movement. Um, so we're going to start with, I raise a hallelujah. You're going to bend your knees and bring your arms up. I raise a hallelujah. Good. From here, you're going to go up on your tippy toes. Oop, I'm not falling. Good. One more time. So, I raise a hallelujah. Up. Your arms come into a high fifth, and you're going to do two jumps. One, two. Okay? So, here's what it looks like I raise a hallelujah. Up. One, two. Very good. And then from there, you're going to go from here. One, two. Arms are going to open very slow. Presence of my enemies. OK? Like I said, the words change. So don't pay attention to the words. Pay attention to the moves, because the words change. So one more time. I raise a hallelujah. Up, in, one, two in the presence of my enemies. The next part, this is not on the words. There's a little instrumental in between. We're going to do two waltz steps. Your arms are going to kind of go like this. So we're going to go waltz, two, three, waltz, two, three. I went the wrong direction. Let's try it one more time. Waltz, two, three, waltz, two, three. And we're going to do it again. Feet are together. We do it four times. Let's do it one more time, all of it together, OK? Five, six, seven, and raise a hallelujah. Up, in, one, two. Presence of my enemies and waltz. 
One, two, three. Waltz, two, three. Good. So, the next part is going to be a little bit tricky. Let's just work in our space with what we've got, okay? So, imagine you're going in a really big circle. You can even practice this move going in a circle. I think Ms. Kimberly will come in and we'll work on this part together, okay? So, you're going to start with your, do I still do the arms like this? Right foot, okay. Right foot, right arm front, left arm back. You're going to take three steps. It'll be one, two, three. Kind of like a chasse, huh? One, two, three. Yeah? One more time. From here. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. One, two, three. From here, you're going to take a step. A little hard. Arms are going to come up. Suit to new. Turn. From here, you should be pointing your, right, your left foot, right? Right foot. Right foot. Left foot. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, left foot, sorry. And point. And you're going to do it again in your circle. And one, two, three. One, two, three. This time our arms stay in. We're turning and turn. And we come into another circle. So, again, there's a big group of us. We come in. One, two, three. Step. Point your right foot. Words say up from the ashes, hope will arise. Now everybody, wherever you are, you're going to turn and face front. Death, things should be head other way. Death is defeated. And then we skip to our, back to our two lines. Oh, no, we skip back out to our circle. My bad. Skip, skip. And we're going to go the other way. Think, yeah, let's keep going. We're going to point our left foot now, left arm front, right arm back. Three steps again. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. One, two, three. Suit the new turn. Arms up and back. Again. And one, two, three. One, two, three. And our turn. One, two. Good. Into our circle again, up from the ashes. And, oh, you're right. One, two, three. And again, we're going to face front. Death is defeated. To our two lines. And skip to our two lines. King is alive. Good. For our next part, we're going to start with a B plus. With a right heel from our B plus. Arms are in low fifth. We're going to step, take an arabesque, and then a walk step back. Five, six, seven, and arabesque. Step, waltz, two, three, and point. Good. From here, this is like an attitude. Remember, we practiced our attitude back. This is an attitude front. So step, step, point, step, point, step, point, step, point. I forgot the arms. The arms kind of do this, this move a little bit. Let's try it again uh, from here. Five, Six, step on your foot. Step, attitude, and attitude, and attitude, and attitude. From here, you're going to put this foot back to do the other side. Okay? Five, we're going to, now we go the other way. Five, six, seven, and arabesque. Arabesque, step, waltz, and point. Now we go the other way. Step, attitude, Step, attitude, and attitude, and attitude. Step, B plus. Here we have a little bit of time, so we're going to take our back arm here. Should be your left arm. Nope, your right arm. And you're going to take it nice and slow and around. And point. OK. And then we're going to point. We're getting ready to do our circle. Here's the back line. Turn this way. We're going to make a circle around each other. Yeah. If you didn't hear that, we make a circle. Move up, making our big circle. Pass. Okay. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. One, two, three. Suit to new turn. Step, point, and back. One, two, three. One, two, three. Remember, no arms, no arms. And we come in. Up from the ashes. And 
One, two, three. Death is defeated. From here, we're going to go to a final position. Skip to your final position. Kate, did we do hands on our hips? Live. I think we did arms here. And our final position, which some of you might be here. Oh, yeah. And final position. And final position. You can't do two without you all together. Yeah. Our final pose. Um, so, that's your entire dance. Um, let's I will dance it with you to this. Yes. So that I'm in the back line. So you can see how when we're going to go to the right and she wants to start there, I have to start here if I'm in the back line. So that we make a nice big circle. And we're going to make this room the circle area that we're in. So you have enough space when you practice it at home that you can make a little circle in your bedroom or in your living room yeah. or in your kitchen. Wherever you so choose. <laughs> okay, Liz, can you do the song? Yeah. Music on? What? That's my parameter? Okay, yeah. so Liz, go off center a little bit um, when I dance with you. Okay. That way I don't go out of the parameters because this is my tape. Okay. I can't go past this when we dance it. Okay. So you're going to be centered there instead of here. We'll go off center. Okay. And what we'll do is we actually will start with the head down. Start with the head down? So that we start in this. Okay.
feel free to back it up and practice it as many times as you need. And we'll probably film again so we can go over it. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. Good job, everyone. Take your little curtsy. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you can keep going over your dances um, and see everything else that's going on. We'd love to hear from you and see how you're all doing. Um, I think that is everything. So have an awesome day. I love you all. I miss you. Bye.